What's going on guys, Mr. Gateway here today and today we are doing a squad builder for a Russian league team. Now the formation I decided to pick here again today, like the last video was 3-4-2-1, just because I love that formation and it's just my favourite one overall. So we'll start with go on goal and we have Akin Fayev. Not going to go quickly too much into his stats, but 88 dive and 89 reflexes. I have seen closest to them was Hugo Lloris, right, 86 for Spurs and I don't know, for what, what did he cost me? 7 grand that by far the dearest player on this team. It's a bit of a lie. I don't think he's as good as what the ratings say. But we'll move on to this first centre back now. Bruno Alves. Fairly slow, but decent defender and heading stats. Basically, he's just a gap filler. There's no one else you can really pick. So, next, we will go to the left side of centre back. And we have Bocchetti. Fairly pacey centre back with 76 pace, 79 defender, and 80 heading. 600 coins. Not bad at all. Other centre back we have here is, I think it's pronounced Hobakan from Slovenia, I do believe. And 77 pace, 78 defender, and 73 heading isn't great. But, you know, 77 pace in a three formation, you really do have to have players that have a lot of pace, in my opinion, at the back. So we'll start at left mid here now, and we have Balaz Jujudzak, the Hungarian international, plays for Dynamo Moscow, cost me 800 coins, and for them kind of stats, 82 pace, 81 shots, 79 passing, 80 dribbling, and 4 star weak foot and skills, you cannot go wrong. So we'll move on to centre mid, first one is Axel Witzel. Belgian, rate 81, very well-rounded player, no outstanding stats to be honest, but for a centre mid he has 4 star skills, which is quite handy, and he cost me 1,000 coins. Other one now, he is actually out of position, and that is Kasuki Honda. 82 pace, 81 shots, 78 passing, 81 dribbling, cost me 2,000 coins, Five or 4 star weak foot, 3 star skills only, but his long shots are just insane. And then, to finish off a load of pace in this midfield, well, sorry, pace coming up I should say, start the pace coming up. We have Vladimir Bistrov from Zenit St. Petersburg, Russian. 90 pace, 68 shots. Isn't great, but I think that's a bit of a lie. 78 passing and 76 dribbling. F 4 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot. You can't go wrong for 800 coins. Now, I do believe these are in the wrong position. So I will go to left midfield here for Marc Gonzalez. I swear to God, he has the acceleration of a fucking cheetah. Pace 90, shots 80, dribbling 78, passing 71. 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill. Spot for 750 coins. We'll probably do a player review of or yeah, a player review of him in about a week's time. Look out for that. He is a tank and a beast. So the other side now we have what you could probably guess will come up, and that is Aiden McGee, 91 pace, 71 shots, 78 passing, 86 dribbling, five star skills and four star weak foot. Two thousand coins. He cost about five thousand a week ago. His price is going down a lot, which makes sense because his shots really aren't great. But in terms of skillers, you can't much go wrong. You can't really go wrong with them. So up front then. Originally had Wellington, but I decided to put the little beast in himself, in case I did a video of him during the week, and Emmanuel Emenike. Didn't do much for me now this time, but I did have him a couple of weeks ago in a different Russian squad, and he did great for me, but this time, not so good. 90 pace, he is ridiculously fast. 78 shots, a bit of a lie, he is better than that. 77 dribbling, and 72 heading. So, this is basically a well-rounded team, you can't really go wrong. I have to say, though, that in the weaknesses definitely was the defence at times. In terms of if you like your pacey players and you want to pace abuse, this is the team you want. I mean, what is this? Look. 90 pace, 90, 91, and 90. You really cannot complain. So, you'll see in the clips in a second now how good, he is, how good they are. But anyway, yeah, let's move on to the clips. So, lads, one thing you might notice from the clips is that Mark Gonzalez features a hell of a lot. Whether he's either scoring a goal or creating a goal, he's always just at the hub of the team. One of the reasons I want to make a player review on him, I think he's very underrated. I'm sure some lads have used him because Russian League isn't the most expensive and some people start off with that league because it has enough quality. But you really, if you haven't used a Russian League team, or even a... I don't even know if it's possible. I might look into making a Chile team. I don't know if Vidal is there and he is there. I don't know what other players there is, but I might actually have a look around and see is it possible to make a Chile team. I'd say I'd be pretty beast myself. But Mark Gonzalez is basically the highlight of this team. Now, in terms of defending, I'm not sure if it is on these clips, but some of them, you just look at the scorings on the top, a lot of times I might have been behind or equalising or whatever. Because, uh, the very first game, I'd, I actually thought, like, oh my god, this team actually plays very well. Like, look at the scoring there, it's 4-1 now. Like, I'm not going to lie, the defence let me down a hell of a lot on this game. But I was saying, yeah, the first game, I was like, oh my god, this the team actually defends very well. But, I played about four games, at the end of the last one, I conceded 90 minutes to lose, and I just turned off the PlayStation, I got pissed off. The team defends so well until a certain point and they just seem to fucking crumble. That was a nice goal there by Jujuzak. I hope you pronounced the name. But um, that's another guy if you haven't tried, definitely should. 
he was my favourite in form of FIFA 12 last year. I'll throw this out there right now. It was your exact same form. He was fucking incredible. His left foot was as good as Ronald Van Persie's in the game. And you can fucking disagree with me that all you want, but you won't change my fucking opinion. Hey lads, I hope you enjoyed this quick squad review. Probably at the end of the week, come Thursday, maybe you will probably see the um, player review of Mark Gonzalez. So as always, lads, if you enjoyed this, like, enjoyed this, like down below, subscribe above if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you Thursday. Bye.